Good afternoon. Thank you for being patient with us. Uh, with regards to SB 1183, and this is relating to taxation. Thank you. Frank Gennadio. Please, and if you can summarize as well. Good afternoon. Uh, Madam Chair, Mr. Chair, uh, my name is Frank Gennadio. I am testifying in opposition to this bill and to any bill extending the rail surcharge past 2027. It is time for this project to find a way to live within its means and also time for this legislature to stop viewing the surcharge as a cash cow for funding projects with little or no relationship to rail. You have my written testimony, which includes an attachment that covers costs for conversion of the system to urban maglev. The attachment also shows a cost comparison with the plan proposed for an at-grade system. The bottom line is that in lieu of blowing past $10 billion with steel wheels or attempting to save money by going to an operator required at-grade system, even a little over budget, the city can convert to maglev and stay within its budget with a fully elevated, automated 21st century system. You have a fiduciary responsibility to the taxpayers to fully explore any proposals that can keep money in their pockets. Start by denying any further funding authority to the city and advising HART to pause construction and work with the Federal Transit Administration to conduct a full review of rails costs, technology, and even the alignment before going forward. Every added mile to the guideway will add to the cost of conversion and enable the city to again lean upon its too late to change mantra. It is not too late to change. In fact, it is never too late to change. If you enable proceeding with steel wheels technology, what will your answers be years from now when the city claims that they will need more billions to extend the system and in its usual fashion will state that the project must stay with steel wheels because, surprise, it's too late to change. I can just see a Chinese tourist here in 2026 asking why we plan to extend our system with steel wheels when China already has 10 municipalities operating urban maglevs. The only answer will be, well, when we found ourselves in a hole, we just kept digging. I urge you to stop digging, deny further funding authority, kill any surcharge extension related bills, tell the city and heart to stop throwing good money after bad and demand a review. Mahalo. Thank you very May much. May I just add one thing, madam? I have a picture here that shows Senator Dela Cruz, along with Mayor Hanneman and two other council members. They are pushing the levitated train in Nagoya, Japan. It's from the Star Bulletin of October 9th, 05. And well, Senator Dela Cruz at the time said, <laughs> we're riding a train to yeah, use yeah. magnetic levitation. Even when we were in the conference room, trains were passing all the time and no one heard them. Uh, no one blinked, I'm sorry, no, no one even heard it. Thank you. Just thought I'd mention it. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.